Good afternoon. Uh, they gave me four minutes and 59 seconds. So I'm going to be brief. Um, if you don't know who I am, I served as Valencia City Councilman and Mayor Pro Tem uh, back in 2000 to 2004. I enjoyed working you know, for the city and for this community. Uh, Larry Hanson told me about eight years ago, he said, uh, you know Dexter, he said one day I think you'll make a great state representative. So, you know, it came to pass finally here, and uh, I'm not going to get into too many name calls, just a few because my time is going down. And I thank Ron Borders for, you know, his encouragement on everything, you know, being a great representative that I can really look up to and uh, be a part of, so you'll be on my speed dial. Um, but, you know, I'm here to work hard for the community. Uh, a lot of faces I've seen through working with the city council and working for the community. And I'm going to go up and do my best to first listen and see how everything works out. And I'm going to work very well with uh, Representative Black, uh, Carter, Shaw, and uh, Senator Golden because that's what it's all about. It's not about us individually. Uh, it's about us working together as a community. And as I look in, I'm, I'm a Valencia uh, Wiregrass alumni. Uh, I worked did the paramedic program, the EMT program. Uh, but through all that, I also started a few businesses, and I worked those businesses hard. I'm a big advocate for technical uh, education. And also, um, I'm employed uh, by South Jordan Medical Center. And uh, thank my boss back there. <laughs> um, so, you know, and, and I continue to work as a paramedic uh, part time. And, and I wanna, I'm seeing a lot of things happen in front of my eyes that I've thought of in the past of creating economic development more in the city of Valdosta. And I've always said you have to get the educational institutions together, work with our industries here, like the hospital, uh, like everything that we can do. And we was talking earlier on how a lot of the credits from Wiregrass will be accepted in the university system. And that's a big plus for this community. It's great to see the hospital expanding the way they are. And with that, we can see the correlation of the hospital and the technical institute and the university all working together so we can have economic impact in a whole lot better way. Because a lot of people that graduate from the university or graduate from uh, Boston State, Wiregrass, the first thing you have to do is head out, especially people that are born here. And that's one thing, I guess, for the last 12 years, I've always wanted to see that the kids that grow up here can stay here and make enough money to make a living. And I honestly know in my heart that we are going in the right direction because we've got to stay focused on our future. And one thing I want to try to get done, whether it's in the, uh, the legislative or not, is we have to really focus on personal finance. And I've come across some programs that I've been looking at because if people do make money, if they throw it away, it's no good. So therefore, I'm going to be trying to work with some people on the different committees like the education, banking committees to get personal finance back, hopefully starting in the middle school and at the worst, into high school. I know a lot, I remember personal finance and economics in high school, but they took that away. And that really has hurt you know, the nation, but it also hurts us mainly here in the South. So there are some things I want to work on, and I've already spoke with um, President Fair, where is he oh, this morning? Okay, but I spoke with him this morning, and we're just going to get as much information as we can in order to, there's about four states that make it mandatory for some of their schools to, uh, for them to take at least one semester. And there's about 21 states that have a program there for personal finance, helping people with the personal finance, uh, 21 of them that make it optional. But I think if we can work hard to educate our people so we can bring more jobs here, make great appointments to expand our industrial authority, those are things we have to do. We don't want to be reactive and we don't want to be inactive. We want to be proactive. And that's what I plan to do for you in this community. Thank you.